Hey everybody, what is up? It is your favorite health and beauty professional, Kiki Carr. Welcome to Makeup But First Skincare, a series in which I teach women of color how to treat their dark spots and acne at home. So if that is something that you may be interested in, be sure to stay tuned. As I stated, my name is Kiki Carr. I am a licensed esthetician, a cosmetic formulator, and I have a whole bunch of scientific degrees. But none of that qualifies me to talk about the subject of acne more than actually having the condition myself. So I figured, let me start bringing to people what it is that I do, what it is that I use, and everything that I know with the hopes that maybe it'll help you too. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future uploads. So today's video, we are concentrating on the pores because that is actually the most important thing to focus on for clear skin. It all starts with the pores. It's like a trickle down effect, okay? If you have larger pores, it's most likely that you have oily skin. And if you have oily skin, it's very probable that you have acne. And if you have had acne or have acne, it's highly likely that you have dark spots and acne scars. So as you see, it all kind of starts with the pores. So it's important to do two things for the pores. That's one, keep them clean, and two, keep them as shrunk as possible. So in today's video, we're gonna focus on how to shrink the pores, the number one item you can use to shrink your pores. When you keep the pores tight, less oil can escape. And lastly, a tight pore is less likely to become impacted. So the miracle product that is all natural that will shrink your pores is witch hazel. Yep, witch hazel. It has been used for centuries in skincare but the Thayers I like this brand because they just have such a large variety of witch hazel so witch hazel is always the active ingredient and then they throw a little couple of complementary ingredients in there for whatever skin type it is that you have so for me I like the rose petal because I want a little bit of hydration with my witch hazel to bring balance to my skin okay because I'm oily skinned and acne prone so I want to try to instead of constantly trying to strip the oil I want to just add more water into my skin to bring balance to my skin it also has aloe in it which is a miracle plant okay aloe does everything for the body inside and out and witch hazel is a pore constrictor like that's what the ingredient does it tightens pores so the number one all natural way to shrink your large pores and combat that oily skin is using witch hazel so that is it for the skincare portion of today's video on to the makeup okay we are all zoomed in getting ready to do the makeup which i'm excited about because omg i have some new foundation i am trying the born this way chai i got um a sample of the original formula which is hydrating and of course i got a sample of the matte now i really like both i've tried a little bit of both um and you know what i want to give the hydrating formula a chance to kind of be on all day because it, it was working it was working pretty good like usually with a hydrating formula i start seeing the oils coming out right away like it don't take no time at all for me to start seeing the oils come out but with this one i was like you know a little bit now mind you i didn't have it on long so that's why i want to give it a try to kind of see how it behaves after i have it on for a while what i really like about it is yeah it looks a lot like skin but the complexion like and for this to have been out for so long i'm shocked that i'm just now trying it but i was saying to myself like i want a new foundation like 
for whatever reason I forgot at this point um I'm like let me try to born this way like that's a that's been around forever now and I've never tried it see how pretty that is it's so pretty and then this one is the butterscotch concealer born this way I really like this color Okay, so now I'm about to just bronze the face up a little bit and use some purple eyeshadow. So I've been experimenting with purples and I'm going to do that today with you because if you watch this channel, you know that I am a neutral girl. I like neutrals. I like flesh tones. I like mute makeup. I don't really, really want to do eye looks like that. Like they're so beautiful and I, I want to sometimes, but a lot of the times I just opt out of doing an eye look so i've been using purples and they are so flesh tone if you've followed my makeup for years you know that i always say purple is a dark skin girl's pink which it is so i am i am and i have been using purples as like my flesh tone my neutral barely there makeup no makeup I was watching this boy do um, his makeup on TikTok, Jim something, G-E-M, and um, he like put his blush right in the corner of his eye and onto his cheek. It looked so good. I'm using this Dream So Big by Real Her. And then of course, you know, my lashes, OptimalBeauty.net. So that is it for today's video. This is how the look turned out. It's adorable. I'm going to do it every day. This is my new go-to everyday glam makeup look. It's so soft. It's so subtle. It's so mute. It's got everything with it though. The pop of color, the shimmer, the highlight, the contour. But it's not overwhelming. It doesn't look like too much. It didn't take me forever. I'm in love. Like... I already set all the products aside so I could recreate this look over and over again, my friend. So, hey, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know you liked it. Let YouTube know you liked it. If you know someone who could use the skincare advice, be sure to share this video with them. Like, that's how they know that you really mess with them like that because you be putting them on. If you yourself can use the skincare advice, I would love to work with you a little bit more closely. So be sure to check the description box and sign up for my newsletter where you will receive exclusive beauty content like this straight to your inbox. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll be sure to see you on the next one.